Hi, this is the Mrs. Jones, and we're going to be discussing a number of solutions to equations. When solving equations, there are three possibilities that you could come up with. You could get infinite to solutions, which mean you could get an unlimited amount of possible answers. You could get no solution which means there's not anything that you can substitute in for the variable that would solve the equation. And then there's also one solution. And one solution is what you really get most of the time. And this is when you solve your equation and you find out what your variable is equal to. Okay, so let's look at what each of these mean. All right, if you are in the process of solving an equation and you get down to a place where you have the exact same thing on both sides of the equal sign, that means you have infinite solutions. So it's when you have the exact same on both sides of the equal sign. So same on both sides of the equal sign. For example, if you went through your first two steps of solving a multi-step equation and you got down to something that looked like this, and you have the same coefficient and variable on both sides, and you have the same constant on both sides, then your answer would be infinite solutions. We could plug any value in for x, and this side would be equal to that side. For example, let's say we plugged in a 0. 3 times 0 is 0. Minus 4 is a negative 4. We would get the same thing over here. Yes, a negative 4 is always equal to a negative 4. If we substituted in a 1, we would have 3 times 1 is 3. 3 minus 4 is a negative 1. A negative 1 is equal to a negative 1, because you would get the same answer over here. So basically, when you follow through, on your multi-step equations and you get to the point where you have the exact same thing on both sides, your answer is infinite to solutions. Okay, now let's look at no solution. A no solution will be when you are solving your problem and you end up with the same coefficient on both sides and the same variable also, but you have different constants. So, oh, excuse me. So for an example, if you follow through the first two steps of solving a multi-step equation, and you get something maybe um, like 2x, plus 3 equals a negative 2x a minus 5. You'll see right here we have the same coefficient and variable, but we have different constants. That's because if you did inverse operation at this step and you canceled out your, your constant, excuse me, you canceled out your coefficients, you would be left with 3 is equal to a negative 5. 3 is never equal to a negative 5. So that is no solution. Same coefficient and variable, different constant. And the third type, which will be the most common that you see, is when you have one solution. Okay, one solution pretty easy to find. When you follow through the first couple steps of a multi-step equation, 
and you get to the point where you can tell you have the different a coefficients then you automatically know you're going to have one solution to your equation. Example, let's say 4x plus 2 is equal to with 2x minus 8. When I have different coefficients, I know I could just solve this problem following the multi-step equations. And in the end, I would get one solution. I would find out what x is, is equal to. In this problem, I would subtract 2x from both sides, subtract 2 from both sides, divide, and I would get my final answer. So with different coefficients, you have one solution. All right, so let's say you are asked to determine how many solutions an equation has. Well, what steps are you going to follow? Well, the first thing you want to do when you see an, an equation is you want to follow these first two steps for solving a multi-step equation. You want to see if you need to use the distributive property. So you're looking for the parentheses. Then you want to combine like terms on either side of the equal sign. After you've done that, you can determine, based on what we just went over, if you have what solution? No solution or infinite. And that's what we're going to do right now. So let's look at some examples of some problems, and then let's decide what type of solution. Okay, let's start with this one. I want you to think, what would you do first here? Well, hopefully, when you saw the parentheses, you automatically thought in your head, I'm going to do the distributive property. And that means you're going to multiply whatever is in the front times everything inside of the parentheses. So that gives you 3y plus 6 is equal to 30. Then you see if you can do step 2. Can you combine any like terms on either side of the equal sign? And the answer is no. So let's now look and see. Infinite, no, or one solution. Well, here's the coefficient on this side, and the coefficient over here, oh, we don't have one. So if you do not have the same coefficient on both sides, we already know this is going to have one solution. And you are finished with that problem. All right, let's look at this one. Okay, first thing, you're going to look and see, do you need to do the distributive property? No, I don't. Okay, then you're going to see if you can combine any like terms on either side of the equal sign. Yes, you're right. You can over here. You have a 6x and you have a positive x, which is understood as a 1x. So let's combine those like terms. And that gives me 7x minus 3 is equal to 5x plus 5. Now we can determine what type of solution. Well, I check out the coefficients first. Are they the same? No, they're not, which tells me what? Right, I have one solution. Okay, let's look at this one. All right, think to yourself, out of the steps to solving a multi-step equation, what do you do first? Great, you do the distributive property. You're going to multiply what's in front times everything on the inside. 5 times C is 5C. 5 times 2 
is a positive 10. And then just bring this down because you can't do anything with it. All right. Do we have any like terms to combine on either side of the equal sign? No, we don't. Therefore, let's compare coefficients. We have the same coefficient. So that tells us it's not one solution because like in this problem, one solution had different coefficients. So this one is either infinite or no. To decide that, you have to look and see, do you have the same constant? The constants are different. Therefore, you have no solution. Because in order to be infinite, you have to have the exact same thing on both sides. All right, let's look down at this one, at the last one on this page. Here we go. We're going to first do the distributive property. So we're going to multiply this two times everything on the inside of the parentheses. And that gives me 2a minus 4 equals, bring this down, 2a minus 4. Okay, let's compare. Do we have the same coefficient on both sides with the variable? Yes, we do. Do we have the same constant on both sides? Yes, we do. In fact, we have the same thing on both sides. Therefore, this answer is infinite solutions. All right, let's just look at some more examples. Will not take us long. What's the first thing you're going to do on this problem? Correct. You're going to want to combine your like terms. I'm going to go ahead and draw this line. Over on this side, I'm going to combine these. I knew I couldn't do the distributive property because I did not have any parentheses. Oh, look over here. I have some like terms over here too. So I can combine those. Have to make sure you look for all of the like terms. These are like terms because they don't have a variable. Wow, look, what do I have? The same thing on both sides. If you have the same exact thing on both sides, what type of solution is it? Good, infinite. All right, let's look at this one. Okay, let's see if we can do the distributive property. No, we can't. So let's combine our like terms. Here we go. Over here, these are like terms with that understood one. Let me go ahead and look over here because I almost missed that right here. There they are. So let's see what we have. We have 3x plus 1 equals 3x plus 5. Well, yes, we do have the same coefficient on both sides. Well, that's good. Do we have the same constant? No, we don't. So that means we have no solution. Last example. Let's look at this last one. I'm liking this one. This one gives us sum of step one and sum of step two. Step one is to do the distributive property, which we can do over here. Step two is to combine like terms. Well, look, we can combine these like terms and we can combine these. So let's do that. 1x plus 2x, 3x. And 3 plus 3 is 6. Now over here, let's do the distributive. 3 times x is 3x. And 3 times 2 is 6. And look what we have. The same thing on both sides. So it is infinite. So real quick, to review you, on the three different types 
of solutions that we have talked about. We have infinite the solutions when you end up with the same thing on both sides of the equal sign. And no solution when you have the same coefficient but different constants and one solution where you have different to coefficients. Thank you and remember to be kind.